So I got this comment by this lovely girl called Nicole and she asked if I could do a video on getting help for your eating disorder in the UK system. Because a lot of people have fear that um, they'll get turned away because they're not like ill enough. I did get help through the NHS. I think I had my eating disorder for like four years before I asked for help. I think I remember I Facebook messaged my friends first and then they told me to tell like my sister and my parents. So then I told my sister, tell my parents. And then I went to the GP. I think because they're just a general practitioner. They're not trained specifically in eating disorders. So they have a very, very like brief understanding of what they are. I wrote a letter to my parents because I was too pussy to tell them straight away, which I think is a really good idea. Just even if you just like text them explaining what, what you're dealing with and like why you want to go get help or what you want from them. I went to the GP. They asked me my symptoms, then they transferred me onto CAM, so Child and Adolescence Mental Health Services, which I've heard is a lot better than adults. CAMS was quite cute. I went through FEDS, which was Family Eating Disorder Services. At the start, we had like weekly weigh-ins, which I didn't like. Um, they gave me family therapy, which again, really fucking hated that. <laughs> they gave me a meal plan. I was really frustrated because I couldn't, they weren't giving me therapy. They were only trying to sort me out physically, if that makes sense. And it was really frustrating me because they've taken away my main coping mechanism that my life was fixated around. So I felt like once that was gone, I needed support in a way that wasn't just physical help. But they were saying, because when you're not healthy physically, your brain can't really function properly until it's like nourished. So they wouldn't allow me to have like one-on-one -on -one therapy for quite a while. And that was really frustrating. But now looking back, I can see why they do that. You probably won't want to go get help. It takes a lot to go get help because you f might feel like lost without it. You feel like if you tell people you can't relapse again because they'll be like on your back. Or you might even just feel like I'm not sick enough, which is literally a symptom of a lot of eating disorders. You know, like, oh, I'm not as bad as so-and-so, so I can't get help yet. Eating disorders are not fucking about weight or how you look physically, like the media loves to make people think. It's a mental illness. If you're mentally consumed with this disorder, you need to get help. Like, even if you're not sure you even have an eating disorder, go to your GP. <laughs> like, it can't do any harm, so... That's why I'd recommend. <laughs> they like will weigh you and they'll ask you about your overall health. They'll refer you to like a team of specialists or like an eating disorder, you know, team. It will be really hard to admit you even have a problem. Your disorder will literally tell you you're fine. I totally forgot there's like, obviously there's gonna be a waiting list for any, any help you wanna get, there'll be a waiting list. It should be straight away, but the NHS is it's a shambles, but Obviously, we're lucky to have that. Also, with the waiting list, you feel like, oh, well, I may as well get worse before I go see a professional because you'll feel more validated by them. Like, you're more sick and you're more deserving of help, but every person with this disorder is deserving of help. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard of anyone get turned away by GP. I've heard people get turned away when they say they've got depression. I think if that does happen, you can ask for a different GP. You can have bad doctors and you can have bad therapists. Just, you know, keep trying different ones. Like, don't not get help because you're, because of a fear of getting turned away. Like, that's the worst thing you can do. Recovering without getting professional help is a lot different than recovering by yourself. It's almost, like, harder to recover with professional help involved and having your family and friends like know about it but then it's so much more worth it because you're a lot more likely to stay in recovery if people around you know you just need to get the help you deserve babe on the nhs website there's like a um find an eating disorder service near me and you just like type in your location and you can also go for like group therapy or i think you can drop into like these free the sooner someone's treated for an eating disorder, the better their chance of making a full recovery. If you're anxious about going to your GP, you can just call a helpline before and they'll like help you talk through it. The charity beat is fucking amazing. Also at the GP, they might, they might take a blood sample. I remember getting blood tests all the time, which was long. They did, um, they did like that heart thing, ECG scan. 
you have to take off your top and they put like those scanner things on. They'll ask you to weigh you, they'll ask you for your height. I think that's it. They should look at the psychological factors of illness rather than just the physical signs because that is not all of it. And if they do just look at the physical signs, they're not good. They're not educated. A lot of people just think it is a physical thing. It might be helpful to write down some notes, write down all your symptoms, and then if you're too scared to tell the GP, you literally just hand them your notes. They'll likely diagnose you a long time after your treatment. Yeah, thanks for watching. I hope it was helpful for someone. Um, if not, that's alright. <laughs> what am I talking about?